Welcome to another Mockit tutorial. In this video, we'll cover how to create widget state. In Mockit, each widget can have several states with different setup styles and interactions. Widget states allow you to build up complex dynamic widgets, like switching between tabs or creating a button hover effect. Now let's jump into an example to see how we can make it. On this screen, I'll be creating two dynamic widgets, tab switching between different choices, and a hover effect on the search button. First let's focus on this component and add widget states. By simply choosing the component and clicking add widget states, right on the properties panel, we can create and enter into widget states. Here we can set the states. In this dynamic widget, we are going to create tab switching. As you can see, state 1 is the original state. I'll double click and name it to economy. And change the name of state 2 to business. Here I also duplicate another new state and name it with first class. Let's move to the second state. In this state, the tab should be right on the choice, business. So I just simply choose the rectangle here and move it to the second choice. And then adjust the text color. Then let's do the same to the third state and move the tab to first class. Now I'm creating interactions between the states. Starting from the economy state, we should link the choice, business, to state, business, and choice, first class, to state, first class. To do that, there are two ways. The first one is, choose the element, and simply drag and drop it to the target state. Or we can try the second way, choosing the element, and move to event on the properties panel. Create an event, here we just keep it to tap. For the action, I'm choosing, change widget state, and selecting first class state. Then set the duration. That's it. Now let's create interactions for the left two states. Let's have a quick preview here. As you can see, tabs are smoothly switching between different choices. Ok let's exit this dynamic widget and move on to the search button. Here we are going to create a button hover effect. Choose the component and create a widget state. Let's change the name of state 2 to, hovered. So I'm gonna make some changes on the hovered state. I'm changing the color code of the button to sextuple F. and add a stroke. Then adjust the text element and the icon to color code 272727. Next we'll create interactions between these two states and create a hover effect. Selecting state 1 and heading over to the event section, we'll create an event. Here are several event choices, and what we need is mouse in. And the target action is to state 2. Set the duration. Let's also create event for the hovered state. We'll choose mouse out. And make the target action to state 1. Let's go to the preview mode to see the result. As you can see, when I hover on the button, it shows this cool effect. Also I can switch the choice of cabin as I want. To review what we've learned today. Dynamic widget state is useful for building an interactive animation on the components. With widget state you can also design complex patterns like tab switches, toggle switches, checkbox. You can also build reusable drop-down menus and create effect on the buttons. To set up interactions between states, you can simply drag and drop, or create event on the properties panel. Don't forget there's a preview mode for our dynamic widget. Thanks for watching, and in the next episode, we'll talk about screen state. See you in the next Mockit tutorial.